prostate gland is a small spherical organ about the size of a walnut that is present in males. It's situated right underneath the urinary bladder and it surrounds the urethra, which is the tube that comes out of the bladder and through which urine is eliminated from the body. It's right in front of the rectum, which is the end part of your large intestine. It sits right against the wall. And for those of you who had a prostate exam, you know what that involves. The doctor actually has to insert his digit in there and feel the prostate. It's just a couple of inches uh, past the anus. And what the doctor does there is feels for the contours of the prostate, and they also feel for nodules and things out of the ordinary. After the age of 40, the prostate can become inflamed and irritated. That's called prostatitis. It could also enlarge in a benign way. That's called benign prostatic hypertrophy or BPH. Now these two conditions, they're not normal, but they're common in males over the age of 40. And after age 60, it's in a larger percentage of males. So when you have prostatitis, it obviously doesn't feel good. There's a burning sensation down there. You may have difficulty or painful urination. With BPH, that enlargement can constrict the urethra. Then you'll have some problems urinating. Maybe it takes you a long time to get your urine stream going. Now, BPH and prostatitis aren't necessarily precursors to prostate cancer, which is much more serious. Prostate cancer can happen with or without those conditions. It's best, obviously, to check with your doctor if you have any symptoms that you feel appearing down there. Get that ruled out first. And if you get a, di if you get a diagnosis of BPH, just you know, know that it's a common finding in males. Now today I'm gonna to talk about a device called the Mavit that some men are having some success with in relieving the symptoms of BPH and prostatitis. It's a device that uses Three things, pulsed EMF, it generates the pulsed electromagnetic field, thermal, so it generates heat, and it uses vibration, just like massage. These three things work in conjunction to relieve the symptoms of VPH and prostatitis. Pulsed EMF, I've made videos of this before. Science shows that pulsed EMF can have a positive effect on cell membranes. Now the membranes are the parts of the cell that determine what goes inside and what leaves. They're like the doors to the cell. So if your membrane is not working properly, then you could have a problem with that, with, with the transfer of those materials into and out of your cell. So pulse DMF, that field goes through your cells and it helps stabilize and normalize that membrane and restore proper function. Pulse DMF also has been shown to reduce rouleau formation in your blood. Your red blood cells sometimes uh, can coagulate and stick together, forming, if you look at under a microscope, like a stack of coins. So it's not such a big deal in your big arteries, but if that stack of coins, those red blood cells, which by the way are delivering oxygen to your cells, if that low formation gets to the capillaries, then you're gonna have some obstructed circulation. If you're someone who has that, this pulse DMF may be able to break apart or reduce that low formation and the result will be increased, improved circulation and therefore oxygenation to your tissues. The thermal aspect of it, heat can vasodilate blood vessels, so that'll expand, expand the blood vessels slightly, increasing blood flow to the prostate. And the vibration, well, that's just like massage. It's mechanical pressure, and that too can provide relief. Just like a regular massage, if you've got a massage gun and worked it on your muscles, it's the same thing. I did a Google Scholar search on the effects of pulse DMF on BPH, and there's quite a few research studies that shows a positive effect, a significant uh, therapeutic effect of pulsed EMF on the prostate. Let's go through a couple of them. Here's one from the journal Urology, the effects of pulsed electromagnetic fields on benign prostate hyperplasia. So basically they had 20 patients with uh, BPH aging with ages between 68 to 78 years old. They were divided into two groups. 10 patients were treated with the alpha blocker alfusosin for two weeks. And the other group was treated with pulsed electromagnetic fields. 
for two weeks in a very short wave duration. It says there was a statistically significant decrease before and after treatment of IPSS, and that's the prostate score. They have a bunch of factors that they use to determine that, including prostate volume, the size of it, urine residue, and mean urine flow rate. And the basic result is that the electromagnetic field treatment group uh, had a st statistically significant uh, decrease in the three things that they were testing in the prostate compared to the group that just took the medication. So they had a better IPSS score, the prostate volume, so it meant that the prostate shrank a bit, and urine residue, as well as mean urine flow. This studied the efficacy of pulsed electromagnetic field therapy in dogs to modify prostate blood flow and evaluated its effect on BPH. So three weeks of pulsed EMF in the dogs produced a significant reduction in prostatic volume, the average being 57%. And the conclusions were the, the efficacy of PEMF on BPH in dogs with no side effects suggests the suitability of this treatment in humans and supports the hypothesis that impairment of blood supply to the lower urinary tract may be a causative factor in the development of P BPH. And just one more study here. This looks like an Italian study. They did a study on 27 patients with BPH and lower urinary tract symptoms. Pulse DMF was delivered on perineal area, which is the tissue right under the base of the pelvis, five minutes twice daily for 28 days and they did a before and after evaluation of uh, these parameters uh, to see its effect on prostate volume. So their conclusion is that pulse EMF reduces uh, prostate volume and improves lower urinary tract symptoms in a relative short time in benign prostatic hypertrophy patients. These benefits seem greater in those patients with moderate to severe lower urinary tract symptoms but without metabolic syndrome. So metabolic syndrome appears to be a complicating factor to BPH, which makes sense. Okay, now we'll see a closer look at this device and how it works. We're going to take a closer look at the Mavit pulsed EMF device for prostate conditions. It consists of a base that provides the power. Here's the main cable and it's got this detachable probe. It just plugs in right into the base. All right, now let's look at this probe here because you need to know how to use it properly. You'll notice that one side has a flatted, flat surface and the other side is rounded. And where I'm holding it, this is how you handle the probe. You never, never, never pull it from the cord. All right, as a matter of fact, if you see any parts of this damaged, then you should not use it for safety purposes. You will insert it into the rectum so that the flattened side, the flattened portion, is against the wall of the rectum. Inside this is a coil of wire that generates the heat and also the magnetic field. It does come with these prophylactics. It's advisable that you put that on there. It's got the instructions and you should read that carefully probably twice make sure you know how to handle this properly. I've got it plugged in and these buttons here, this is power, this is work, and this is the start and stop indicator. So here's the power button, it's already plugged in. I'm gonna hold it like this and once you press it, you'll hear that ticking sound. Then these LEDs will show uh, the work LED indicator is on and this one's on. So I'll just let you listen to that for a while. You'll hear the ticks, and that ticking is basically the massage function. And the frequency of the massage and also the pulse DMF changes. It ramps down, then ramps up. And the heat, I tested this earlier, takes about five to 10 minutes to get to the peak heat. The most it could get is 40 deg 42 degrees Celsius. This is a magnetic field indicator. I'll put it here and you can see that it, well, it's, it's kind of hard to see with all the lights, but trust me, uh, that's turning green, which indicates the presence of the generation of a magnetic field. 
If you put that against the wall of the rectum, the prostate's right here, and it gets that vibration, that thermal effect, and the pulse DMF. To turn it off, simply press this button. The instructions say the way to use it is you put on one of these prophylactics, lubricate it, lie down on your back, on your couch or your bed, and insert it into the rectum. Press the button to turn it on once it's in. It's recommended that you do it about 20 to 30 minutes, seven to nine times a day. Probably don't have to do it that much, but you get the idea, just at least maybe five times a day to get relief. In summary, the prostate gland can become problematic in males over the age of 40. You should definitely check with your doctor and get a urologist referral if you're having any types of symptoms in your prostate. There's medical research that shows that pulse DMF can be an effective form of treatment for prostatitis and BPH. This device, the Mavit, is one of several products devices out there that can be used to treat BPH. It's intended to be used after you consult with your doctor and urologist to make sure it's appropriate for your condition. Now I have this available on my site. If you're interested and you've gone through and checked with your doctor and got approval, consider getting it. You'll have access to future videos on lifestyle modification, all these good things, these powerful, effective things you can do in conjunction with this that will help your condition even more. If you know someone who's got uh, BPH or prostate issues, please share on your social media. You never know if there's someone in your circle who's suffering daily from this condition. It may just be a life changer for them. That's what this is all about, spreading the information. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.